So bare metal backup, or to be more precise, is actually bare metal recovery or restore, um, is about having a technology that simplifies the process of rebuilding a server that has lost everything. So not just its data, but its operating system, drivers, all of those kind of things. Um, so typically you would think that the process of recovering a server um, would have between something like 25 to 30 manual steps, each one that can be quite difficult and require knowledge, in order to get it to the point where you can recover its data. A bare metal recovery product should reduce that to one, two or three steps. It should make it very, very simple uh, to do, even for someone that has no experience of building a server from scratch. So for me, bare metal recovery is not the same as backup. Um, it's really complementary in a lot of cases. There are some users that will say bare metal recovery is all they need and there are others that will say we don't need bare metal recovery and backup is fine. But for business users, government users, reasonably large IT departments, um, they actually go together. Uh, and so the bare metal recovery element is much more about recovery in the case of a disaster. Your server blows up, it's gone completely, physically disappeared, or everything on that server has just gone. Everything is unusable. So whether it's a virus corruption or something where you don't know where it is, but you have to replace everything um, from the operating system up. That's where bare metal recovery comes in because that can be a time-consuming, possibly error-prone error process um, that requires knowledge um, and it's not something you do every day. And bare metal recovery simplifies the process and significantly speeds it up and reduces the chance of errors happening. But that's all about recovery in the case of a real everything's gone. Backup is, is a slightly different area. Backup is about being able to recover uh, individual files, elements of applications. Um, it's also about having a long history of your data over a long period of time uh, and being able to recover that, not necessarily always immediately, but knowing that you can get it back. Um, and the two things are very, very different and it depends on what you need as to which one's more important important but very often both are important um, and they both offer a way of giving the fast recovery and disaster uh, different kinds of recovery based on application needs and that history going back sometimes not just weeks or months but years. Not all bare metal recovery systems or products are the same. There are differences uh, between dedicated bare metal recovery products and also bare metal technology that is actually an option of another technology like backup. Um, so between the actual bare metal products and themselves, there are differences. So some can be very simple things like the interface, the ease of use. Um, other things can be actual functions. So the things that you have to look at are, as an example, one product may have more functionality, may be able to potentially recover more quickly, but it also may be slightly more complex to use. And for a lot of users, that's fine. Other products are very, very simple to use, but they may not have the level of complexity of others. And by that, as an example, I mean, some can recover um, your operating system and a file system, but can't recover an application. But some bare metal products today can recover applications, like Exchange, as an example, um, but they may be more complex to use. The other thing to look at is what I mentioned before, where you have dedicated bare metal recovery products and for people that are just looking for bare metal alone and they're not looking for anything else 
the, the truth is they would tend to be the best option. However, if you want an element of bare metal recovery uh, capability, but it's not the only thing you're looking for or the most important thing you're looking for, if you want it as part of a total data protection strategy, then you can look at bare metal offerings that are offered by backup software vendors, where it's an option to what they already do. Now, very often with those, they may not be quite as neat or function rich as the dedicated products. However, they are linked to the backup product. They're managed from the same interface. And when you look into bigger enterprises, they give you pretty much what you need and allow the same person that's responsible for the backup to be able to master that technology and manage it from one place very clearly. So it's different needs for different people, but they absolutely not all of those te uh, technologies and products are the same. So when you're looking for the best recovery solution for your business, my personal advice and my view is the best way to do that is forget about the technologies to start with. And what you need to do as, a, as your first point is actually understand what is it you need to recover and how quickly do you need to recover it and what are your staff's capability to achieve that. Once you understand that, you can then go out and find what the different technologies are that can bring you to that level. And it may not even be bare metal recovery. It could be that there are other technologies that get you there. Um, if your business doesn't need to recover its server in an hour and three or four hours is perfectly fine, you may find that there are cheaper, more simple technologies that maybe are not bare metal recovery or some of the other options that are available for fast recovery in the event of a crash that suit your need. Generally, whether it's split second recovery through to being able to recover in a day, a week, a year, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Generally, the technologies are there to do it and also, generally speaking, the price point gets higher as the recovery time gets shorter. But the thing you have to really work out is what do you need and how do you want to achieve it? And are your staff capable of dealing with technical products to be able to get what you need? Once you've worked that out, then go out and find the right technologies.